The cytogenetics that are present at diagnosis are extremely important for prognostic utility. We know that myeloma is a heterogeneous disease and that some patients are likely to do well for a long time, whereas others we might expect for their disease to be more difficult to control long term. And everybody knows at this point about the revised ISS, the high risk features with translocation 414, 1416, and deletion 17P that these are high-risk cytogenetic abnormalities that pretend poor risk. But recently, we've discovered that chromosome 1 abnormalities, in particular, extra copies of the long arm of chromosome 1, or plus 1Q, or deletion of 1P, the short arm, uh, also have high-risk features. And I think it's essential that we be checking for this. The details really matter here as well. So patients with gain of only one extra copy of 1Q probably do worse uh, than patients uh, without it. But amplification or gain of two or more copies, four or more total copies of 1Q, really do uh, are not expected to do well long term with standard approaches. And so it's absolutely essential that we identify these patients early on uh, you know, so that we can set expectations, so that we have you know, some of this uh, information available before we make kind of situational decisions, uh, such as whether to go to early upfront uh, autologous stem cell transplant or to consider enrollment in a clinical trial that is aimed at improving outcomes in these high-risk patients.